What other tech companies could some of the allegations or, or accusations from the FTC uh, that were brought forth towards Amazon also impact? The one that I'm concerned about is Apple. And my concern for Apple is that they could get hit indirectly to the extent that we're finding out that Google's paying them you know, billions of dollars for placement of their search within Apple's uh, iOS operating system. And then to the extent that there's concern that Apple is employing anti-competitive practices with its 30% uh, fee it charges for app sellers on its platform. Um, now, indirectly, I think that Wayfair, Overstock, uh, Etsy, other e-commerce players may benefit uh, from, you know, Amazon potentially being cut into pieces or things of that nature, or Amazon potentially being distracted. But again, I think Amazon's good at dealing with distraction. But those may be the, you know, the beneficiaries of what's going on. And then just lastly, Tom, while we've got you, when you when you think about some of the broader calls for for how tech might fare, not just during the fourth quarter, but going into 2024, especially if we are due to see a reset of some of the expectations around where AI is actually going to matriculate into the bottom lines of businesses. What does that spell out, even for some of the Magnificent Seven out there who have been on an investing spree? Yes, I, I love that you're hinting that there's a lot of hype and maybe not a lot of near-term sales from AI. So my concern is the higher for longer interest rates could dampen valuation so you could have potentially a double whammy to the extent you have lower expectations for next year and lower um, you know, rates for stock on valuation, uh, lower multiples. That could be a problem and one that we're continuing to monitor. All right, Tom Forte, always great to have you and get your perspective. DA Davidson, Managing Director and Senior Research Analyst. Thanks.